Hey guys, Hobie Hill with Deep Dungeon Games. So we're going through the whole entire Deception uh, supplement for your tabletop games. So if you don't know, there are 30 games for your games. And um, yeah, they're just super fun, easy to play. They add a ton of content to your game. Instead of just rolling the D20 and saying, hey, I beat you because I rolled higher than you. Now you have 30 games to add to your games to give it some more grit, some more feel, and a little bit of lore. If you're interested in picking it up, you can find it at www.deepdungeongames.com for a PDF. It's also available through DriveThruRPG uh, on print-on-demand. Um, and also, if you're on Rolling20 and you're on that medium, it's available there as well. So pick that up. Uh, support us. Uh, if not, if you just want to learn how to play this game and add it to your game, then awesome. Feel free. Uh, we appreciate your support and everything. So check out um, Ooze. Oh, I didn't even tell you what the name it was. What's wrong with me? So this is Oos, okay? This is actually one of my fun, funner games that I like, and I should more like the lore aspect of it, and not necessarily the uh, the his the actual game itself. I mean, the game's fun naturally, but the uh, history of it's uh, hilarious, and I love it, and I can just picture it in my head. So uh, yeah, so check it out, watch Ooze, and let me know what you think in the comments. All right, guys. So here we go. We're gonna play Ooze. This is one of my favorite games, as I've said before. I like it because the lore aspect, but I mean, everyone can like it for different reasons. Um, this game takes about four minutes. It can be played with multiple people, but generally it can be just between the DM and the player. But if there's other people at the table, then um, you can include them by having them attack as well. So each pl only the um, player will actually need the D10. Um, the attacker and will need 2D6, and the defender will need 2D6. And if you're playing it to where everyone gets to play around or, or attack a door or whatever it is, then every player will need 2D6. Um, so the game starts by one player volunteering or being voted on by the majority to be the defender. The defender rolls a d10 dice, which we rolled a four on, okay? And that is the number of doors the defender must guard. Each door has two d6 dice worth of hit points. Every door, at every door, an attacking player or the dealer rolls two d6 worth of damage. If the attacker rolls higher number than the door, they break the door down, and then they get a plus one on their next attack controversially. If the attacker rolls the lower number and is repelled, the defender adds plus one to the door's hit points. And so what I kind of like to do in this game, and it's not necessary, but you can do it one by one. But what I like to do is if I'm the player, I can, you know, go ahead and roll my hit points. So on my first door, I have two threes. So that's a six. So I'll put that there and roll again. So I got seven. Not very good. You know, if you roll a one, you pretty much know, or you roll a two, you're in some trouble. Got another six. Oh, goodness. Okay, there's that. And one more time. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That 12, that max, that max damage there. So basically, um, how they win is if whoever makes the most doors wins essentially so if the uh, ooze if it's a tie you could say it's a tie and play another round or do the odd man out thing and do one more door to make it odd if you so choose that or you can also do uh, it as a gambling option to where how many doors they can they can make it through before you know the player wins but it's all, it's all relative right so now as the dm or the dealer or the attacker uh, you now get to roll um, to each door, right? Okay, so here we go. We're going to attack this first door. So right off the bat, we got a five and a four. So that door goes to the, put it over here. That go, door goes to the ooze guy. So ooze has a plus one now. Okay, so we're going to the second door. Do, 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 do. I'm coming for you. I'm an ooze. Okay, oh, nope. So this is where it gets interesting. So, you know, now as the defender has a plus one. So I rolled a four, right? Plus one. That's going to be a total of five. Does not beat this seven. Okay. So now as the defender, so now basically everyone's even. So it's plus one and plus one to defense. And so this one that would actually become, but the only thing is you can't go above 12. So that kind of stinks. But I mean, that just is what it is. But this is now a seven. So... There's that. So this one is goes to the defender. We'll put that down here. So we're going to roll the dice again. Oh, we rolled a four. Okay, so nope, does not work. So it goes to the defender. And this 12, and we rolled a nine. 
So in this case, the defender wins. Da -da -da -da. Yep, so 7-7-12. Seven, seven, this one goes up one up here, and just wasn't enough. So the defender would win the pot or the ante or whatever game you might be playing with a hag or something like that. Um, so as I always, I like to leave the, uh, the segment with uh, the lore segment. A popular bard once told an amusing story about an old king who was attacked by his, his keep by a relentless ooze. The king ran through the keep, desperately closing doors behind him in hopes to stop the slimy monster. Sadly for this king, there was not a happy ending as the ooze dissolved him into a fleshy pudding. Assuming, of course, that you must trust the amusings of a bard. After all, the bard is the one who thought this story was funny. So there's always a funny aspect. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed Ooze, and I hope you can add it to your game, and thank you for watching.